All right, so when you first start off with the barracks, you're going to first need to plan out your fan foundation. Now, it's important when doing your foundation to start at the highest elevation. That way, <coughs> your building doesn't, or your foundation doesn't end up running into the ground when you're going from a lower elevation to a higher elevation. That Usually, that's what the game does. It makes you run into the hillside, and half of your foundation is in the ground and half of it isn't so right here I'm showing you what happens or yeah I'm just showing you that right here and yeah see starting from the higher elevation it looks a lot better and you can see right here to the left from left to right it's more elevated from the to the, from the left and then it gets less elevated to the right so the foundation comes up out of the ground a little bit more and so let's just go ahead and tell you guys how to build this. So you're going to go six blocks across from, as you see there, left to right, and then th um, four blocks wide. All right, in this next part, I'm going to show you what kind of walls you're going to use and what corner pieces you're going to use. Now, it's important that you know that these won't exactly go together, but it looks good just the way it is. I mean, I can handle that little where it sticks out over there. So in the first one, you're going to... Um, in the front, you're going to place four, no, that's, yeah, that's four, four, and then two corner pieces, and then three on the side, and then five wall pieces in the back with the two corner pieces, and then three on the other side. Alright, so in the next part to this build, you're going to be using this roof right here. And I'm just going to show, go up here and uh, show you guys how exactly to place these so that they look pretty decent from both angles, pretty much. See right here, it's going to look a little wonky, but you, there's like no way out of that. <coughs> either way you go. If you turn these right, they're just going to look weird from the front. If you turn them the other way, it's going to look weird from the side. There's no way to get out of that. And using flat roofs on this just looks kind of weird itself. But, you know, I wanted to make it look pretty good. So you're going to start out 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 in the front. And 1, 2, 3 on the side. Placed exactly like this to make it look a little better. Um, <clears throat> and on this part, you could just do a little bit of outside decorating like... Uh, me, I, I just thought of something really quick. So, uh, to give you guys an idea, I just put a couple, or two railings right here, then a pole. On the back side, I couldn't really do that because it was kind of, it wasn't letting me. And, <clears throat> yeah, it looks pretty cool. I got two stairs. It actually lets me go in even though it's, like, up off the ground. So I know that they won't get stuck when they go in. And, yeah, that looks, looks better than it did before, just plain and nothing. You could, however, put something like, uh... Let's see decorations. You could make your make a sign. You could uh, put that the sign that they have. I don't know where it's at right now, but you could put that in here. You could also put like um, let's see, where's that thing at? There it is. Put this out here with um, let's see. You put that with a not a bed. <clears throat> let's see. With a bench. Where's the bench? Is that? Come on, bench. Where you at? Yeah, something like that. Out here. With this in front of it, maybe. <clears throat> yeah, just something like that. Makes it look ten times better than just plain. Nothing nothing around. Um, also, if you have the, the magazine for it, you can put statues. Where are my statues? Probably in decorations. Yes. Yes, this is the statues you can place. There's a fountain. I don't have enough copper for that, though. And I have a lion. And so, yeah, that's that's the end of this part of the build. It, it This all basically depends on you guys and what you want. And wanna... last but not least, we have the interior phase. So over here to the left, we're going to go go ahead and look at our, um, s our sleeping arrangement. How we have everything set up for everyone to sleep. Alright, so first we've got... We got this bed. <clears throat> it 
to this one. You're going to set it right here, like that. And you're going to go over to Containers and go on over to Foot Locker. Yes, Foot Locker. This one right here. You're going to put it in front of their, ba their beds and do that all the way across. And it almost looks like a military um, sleeping arrangement. And then right across from here, next to this wall, we've got set up, um, we've got a shelf with some, some ammo on it and stuff. And then to the left of that, we got a steamer trunk. So this is basically the sleeping area, the storage area. And then over here, we're going to have the lounge with a cigarette machine, pool table, couch, and TV and an ashtray. And then right here, we're going to have sort of the mess hall type deal. With a Nuka Cola machine, a milk machine, and an ice cooler. And then right to the left of that, we're going to have the med bay, which will have all your medical needs. Like right here, we've got a stim pack, Radway, some, some, uh, what is this called? Red X. And our cooler and our radio is going to be stationed there. So yeah, that's, that's the last part of that. So now I'm just going to give you guys a quick tour of the base as a whole. You know. So I'm just going to shut up and show you guys that. So yeah, that's the base guys. Thank you for watching and if you enjoyed please leave a like and or subscribe below. Thank you and till next time, see you in 810.